Greetings, in this video I'm going to help you fix your Wi-Fi problems regardless if you have a laptop computer or if it's a desktop we're going to troubleshoot both and I guarantee you I could probably help you today to get you reconnected to your Wi-Fi so we're going to first talk about how to do it inside of Windows regardless if you have Windows 10, 11, 7 or 8 we're going to first troubleshoot how to do that in a desktop and then we're going to troubleshoot doing it on a laptop we're going to troubleshoot your Wi-Fi not working inside your Windows computer while you're on the home screen of Windows whether that's Windows 10 or 11 or 8 or 7 whatever operating system that you got and I realize that some of you may not be able to see your Wi-Fi icon and that's one reason why you're here you're trying to locate the Wi-Fi icon okay so what you're going to do while you're in the Windows home screen on the very bottom right you're going to see this little up arrow here that looks like this I want you to click on it and then it's going to give you, it's going to pop up this that shows all your available icons. If you see one that says Wi-Fi or it's got the little Wi-Fi icon here, I want you to left click it and drag it onto your desktop and then release. And then see if, and then see if you can use your Wi-Fi then. After you did that, what I want you to do, if you can see your Wi-Fi icon, and I understand that you might not, right click on the Wi-Fi icon and select Troubleshoot Problems. And then it's going to do this whole scan, and it may be able to find a solution for you or fix the problem. Okay, after you tried that, what I want you to do is on the very bottom of your Windows home screen, there's going to be the taskbar that's down here usually. And what I want you to do is right-click on the taskbar and then left-click taskbar settings. And then from there, it's going to show... A little thing where you can select which icons appear on taskbar. Now on some windows it's on the, going to be on the left, some it's going to be on the center. You might have to scroll down some, but you're going to locate that and then click on it. And then it's going to take you to this. And then when it says network, I, I don't care if it's on or off, I want you to toggle it. So turn it off, then turn it back on, then turn it off and then back on. Maybe do that three or four times, and then after you, you do that, I want you to um, restart the computer and then let me know if it starts working. Okay, now we're going to look at the driver, the Wi-Fi driver that's in Device Manager. So on the while you're at the Windows home screen, I want you to type in the search here. I want you to type Device Manager right here. And then after you type Device Manager, it's going to bring you up to all your drivers. I want you to go all the way down where it says Network Ad Adapters. You want to click on it. It's going to bring all these adapters here, and on the it should be on the very top. You're going to see a Wi-Fi adapter. Okay, it it'll on different computers it, it'll look different, like but it should it may end with Wi-Fi, uh, Wi-Fi adapter. It may just end with Wi-Fi, but it, it's one of these usually top two. It's not your Bluetooth, and it's not the one that says WAN. W A N. It's one of the top two. So when you locate it, what I want you to do is right click on Wi-Fi, right click on it, and choose disable device. So you're going to disable it. If you're confused and it's one of two, you can disable both. Like if you see the top two could be the Wi-Fi. Go ahead and disable both. And then what you want to do is right click it on again and enable it. So you're basically toggling that. Disable and then able. And then while it's enabled, I want you to restart the computer and then tell me if it works. Okay. After you've tried that, what I want you to do is update update the driver. So go back to Device Manager where you were before. Find the Wi-Fi. I want you to right-click and then choose Update Driver. Now here's the, here's the trick. If you're not connected to Wi-Fi, you're not able to, uh, to update the driver because you're not able to get online. So you might have to, if you have the option to connect it to the Ethernet port, you have to go bring your computer to the router somehow, if it's a laptop especially, and then connect it to the Ethernet. And then from on the Ethernet, I want you to update the driver. And that can take anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes. It'll ask you for two options. You don't want to search your computer. You want to search automatically for drivers while you're going on off online rather you're going online to search for the drivers if you haven't done this yet see if you're able to connect a router to directly to your computer if it's a laptop see if you're able to connect it and see if you're able to get internet connection there it may be that the router is offline so what I want you to do 
is I want you to try another device on the right and on the router on the Wi-Fi router like if you have a smartphone or if you have another computer see if you're able to get connected if you're not able to get another com computer connected then you know that it's not it has nothing to do with your computer and then also I want you to reset the router there should be a reset button on the back of the router on the side if not you can just unplug it from the wall wait a good 10-15 minutes plug it back in wait another 10 minutes and then see if you're able to get online now regardless of what windows that you have if you go on the bottom right and you see no connections are available let's go ahead and troubleshoot that so what you're going to do is you're going to go back to the Windows homepage on the bottom left here you're going to type task manager in the search I want you to click services right here I want you to click open services which will be on the very bottom then it's going to give you one of the drop down options I want you to search on all these options I want you to search for WLAN auto config so it will be one of these options here you might have to scroll down and then search WLAN auto config now right click on it and now I want you to right click properties it's going to take you to this little screen here and where it says startup type I want you to select automatic I want you to select automatic and then click start right here and then after the service control runs on the bottom right I want you to cl click apply now click OK so on a laptop it may just be a hardware issue that you accidentally tripped up so we want to first go through that and then I'm going to give you other troubleshooting methods so on your laptop it doesn't matter which brand that you have but a lot of times there's like a little switch on the sides on the front or even sometimes on the top so I want you to inspect your laptop whether it's a, a Dell or an HP or whatever so this particular Dell has one right here and I don't know if you can see it but you're going to look for a little Wi-Fi logo that looks like this on HP's a lot of times you'll see them on the front here near the keyboard it's like a little button and a lot of times you'll see like an orange light that'll be lit up somewhere on the body of the laptop and if you just push it once it should the light should turn off on some like I said it, it's on the on the right sometimes it's on the left and it's just a little switch a lot of Acer's have the little switch here on the front so just visually look for it and see if you can spot it now another way to trip up the Wi-Fi is actually the function key so as you know you got a whole list of function keys right here so what I want you to do is look for that Wi-Fi logo that's on one of these function keys a lot of times it's on the F2 sometimes it's on the F7 F5s but the main thing is just to look for the little logo now my Dell doesn't have that because it's got the switch and so what you're going to do is when you locate the Wi-Fi logo on one of your functions key you're going to hold down the function button and on Lenovo's I think it's orange but hold it down and simultaneously hit the key that has that Wi-Fi logo on the function and hit it just once and then see if you can start recognizing your Wi-Fi on here now make sure that you check your router and that it's connecting and that it's actually working I'd recommend you actually try another device on your router like a, a cell phone a smartphone or another desktop or computer and see if it's getting connection if it's not then you know it's not your laptop try the Ethernet where you would connect the Ethernet directly into the computer and then see if it's able to work that way and then you know you got some issue with the Wi-Fi and then so what I want to do is help you figure out inside Windows how to see inside the Windows operating system if you're able to get connected there if all else fails it could be your Wi-Fi card that's inside the laptop and they usually look a little bit like this and so on a lot of laptops it's located under here it's like a little compartment sometimes it's in underneath the keyboard here and so what I would want you to do is go on YouTube and look for a tutorial on your specific model number and see if you can replace it if you can locate the Wi-Fi grab the model number off of it and go on eBay or Amazon and buy one it usually shouldn't be more than like 20 bucks and then see if that'll fix your problem now if you don't want to go through the hassle of trying to look for a Wi-Fi card what you can do is actually use a USB toggle that would go into the USB port and they look a little bit like this and you can get these on Amazon or eBay and they just plug in your USB now I will say that they're not as strong as the Wi-Fi cards 
but they're still pretty good and they will be a, a good fix for you if you just don't have you. Wi-Fi. You, come here. You, yes, you. I need your help. Come here. You see this right here? This wall's empty. I need a YouTube play button. In order for me to get a YouTube play button, I need 100,000 subscribers. I got, what, 20, 30,000 right now? I need 100. I need you. Please, you, to subscribe. You think, my subscription doesn't help. Yes, it does. I need 100,000. I need. I visualize. I visualize what I want in this world. And what I want is a YouTube play button. I want a YouTube play button, and I need you to subscribe. You can help me. You can make your dreams come true. Just visualize it. Whatever you want in this world, you can have it. You can have all your dreams come true. I want you to help me make my dreams come true. All right? So please, please subscribe.